Our next speaker is fighting against censorship for dozens of years, Sheikh Imran Hussein. Over to you. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers, on our father Adam, our father Abraham, and Moses, on Jesus, and on his mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and on the last of them all, the Blessed Prophet Muhammad, as I greet you with a greeting of peace. Assalamu salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I thank the organizers of this multipolarity forum for having given a voice for Islam. And so, having given a voice for the Quran, does the Quran have anything to offer on the subject of multipolarity? I will speak very briefly. It's an introductory statement. And to take you on this blessed morning to a verse of the Quran in Surah Al-Hujarat in which the Lord God, the one God speaks and these are his words O mankind Ya Yuhannas Ba'da Uzu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem Inna خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ ذَكَرٍ وَأُنْثَى We have created you from a male and a female. Only two, not three. Only two genders. Not three. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And we have ordained that you should emerge as different nations, as different tribes, with diversity. And what is the rationale, what is the philosophy, what is the reason why we have been created with diversity, literarafu, that you would understand the value of diversity, that there is a fraternity of mankind in this diversity. and that none is born superior to another. Part of the explanation for this virus called unipolarity is a virus that declares that I am the chosen of the Lord God. I'm born superior. But the Lord God says no. You're born as a family. With no one superior to another. In Akramakum, in Allahi Akramakum, the West, the best of you are judged on what is inside of you not your birthright. And there are two forces in the world 
that insist that we are born superior. I don't speak about my brother the Jew in any positive way. He's a brother, a Jew. But he says, the Torah says about him that he's born as the chosen of the Lord God. Superior to the rest of mankind. If I'm wrong, correct me. If I'm wrong, correct me. And then the Lord God responds in the Quran to this and he says, If you believe that you are the chosen of the Lord God, to the exception of the rest of mankind, then why don't you seek death in Puntum Sadiqi if you are truthful? But they'll never do that because they know what they have done. Our Prophet said that all of mankind would stand before the Lord God on judgment day as equal in his sight as are the teeth of a comb. And so we say not only to the Jewish world, but also to modern Western civilization which has been infected by this same virus. We are the chosen people of the Lord God. And Imran Hussein, you and your people, you are the natives. You are inferior. We have to teach you how to dress. We have to teach you how to eat. And you will never be civilized until you follow our way of life. And so here is the, the, the virus of unipolarity, this disease that we are the chosen of the Lord God to the exclusion of the rest of mankind. I wish I could continue with the Quran but I want to make just one more comment. Because I'm introducing the Quran to many of you here sitting, who are very important people and who ought to know what the Quran says. It's not just that we are the chosen of the Lord God, more than that. The Lord God said, to Adam and to his wife, live in the garden of heaven, but do not approach this tree. It's not literally a tree. It is mutashabiha, something which has to be interpreted. And while there are other interpretations, listen to ours. What does the Quran say about the tree? It speaks about Satan speaking to Adam and saying, Hal adullukum ala shajaratin kulli. Shall I, shall I introduce you to the tree of eternal life? They don't want to die. They want to live forever. I wish they can get a thousand years. They want to live forever. And to rule eternally, a state which will rule eternally. This is unipolarity. We want to rule the world. And all of mankind must submit 
to us. And so the Quran has come today to say to you here. Sheikh, Sheikh Ebron, one minute, please. One minute. Yeah. Part of the reason, the foundation of this disease of unipolarity, and we pray that the Lord God might bless this session and bless this conference. Thank you.